Okay, so let's just talk about the ventilator settings. Um, what is the difference between peak pressure and plateau pressure? Peak pressure is actually the pressure due to airway resistance. When we inspire the air into the system, into our lungs, the resistance uh, due to airway obstruction is recorded in the form of peak pressure. And the plateau pressure actually due to the compliance of the lung. Now, what is compliance? Compliance is actually the ability of the lungs to inflate or deflate due to change in pressure. So if the lung, they are not compliant enough, so the plateau pressure might change. So plateau pressure will actually tell us about the compliance of the lungs and the peak pressure will tell us about the resistance in the airway. If you look at this diagram, you will see the airway. When the air moves into the airway, the resistance it feels is the peak pressure, is recorded on ventilator as peak pressure. When the lungs are fully filled with air and they cannot expand anymore, so they exert a pressure and that pressure is recorded as the plateau pressure. So the pressure due to the airway is called the peak pressure, airway resistance is called the peak pressure, and the pressure due to the compliance of the lung is called the plateau pressure. So what can actually increase the peak pressure? As we discussed before, the resistance uh, in the airway increase the peak pressure and how the airway can obstruct. It can be due to um, a secretion in the airway, a mucus plug in the airway, or sometime the endotracheal tube might get occluded and that uh, increase the resistance in the airway. So due to increase in resistance in the airway, the peak pressure increase. And the plateau pressure increase when the compliance of the lung decreases. And there are certain pathologies that uh, decrease the compliance of the lung, uh, such as uh, ARDS, pneumonia, pulmonary edema. All these lung pathologies decrease the lung compliance. When the compliance decrease, the plateau pressure increase. So plateau pressure actually tells us about the compliance of the lung. And the peak pressure tells us about the airway resistance. So any change in peak pressure, we, a doctor must understand that the, the airway is, uh, is occluded or uh, there is a resistance in the airway. So look at the difference between when, the, uh, when we talk about the uh, peak pressure, it is actually the pressure created when the air is moving in the system. When the air is passing through the uh, passing through the the trachea, uh, that's something uh, we record on the ventilator as uh, as the as the peak pressure. And when the air stop moving into the lungs, and when the lungs are fully inflated, the pressure recorded on the ventilator is in the form of uh, plateau pressure. So when the air is moving in the system, it is called the peak pressure. And when the air stops moving in the system, it is recorded in the form of plateau pressure.